All right, so if we want to do some long division with these two uh, polynomials, what we're going to do is we're going to take this first polynomial and we're going to put it inside our division. So 3x to the fourth minus 5x cubed plus 4x minus 6 goes inside. And then outside the division will be x squared minus 3x plus 5. So here's the deal. Just like in grade school, when you started dividing, uh, you had a uh, logarithm that you followed. An algorithm, excuse me. So if we had like 4 into 273, then you go, all right, 4 goes into 20, you know, 4 goes into 2, it doesn't. But 4 goes into 27 six times. And then you do 6 times 4 is 24. And then you subtracted, and you got 3. And you brought down the other 3, and you did 4 into 33 8 times. That's 32 when you multiply, and you subtract, and you have a remainder of 1. So we would write this as 4 and 1 fourth, or 4 plus 1 fourth. Okay, that's, that's how that was. It's the exact same process now. I go, all right. I've got x squared minus 3x plus 5. So I'm looking at the first three places. And I ask myself, what, what times x squared? What times x squared is 3x to the fourth? And the answer to that is 3x squared. So I've got 3x squared. Well, guess what? I don't have 3x squared anywhere underneath. And, and so in order to solve this guy out, I've got to be able to recognize all the different degrees of my problem. So before I can go any further, what I need to do is take this 4x minus 6 and scoot it over and make room for a 0x squared. So I'm just going to erase 4x minus 6. I'm going to scoot it over. And I'm going to have my 0x squared. Okay. And so now I can line my 3x squared up over my 0x squared. So when you're doing long division, this is one way that you can maybe catch a possible mistake right off the bat. And then I multiply 3x squared with everything in green. So 3x squared times x squared is 3x to the fourth. 3x squared times negative 3x is minus 9x cubed. And 3x squared times 5 is 5, uh, 15x squared. And then we are going to subtract the whole thing. So 3x to the 4th minus 3x to the 4th is 0. So this is a 0. It's done. Now 5x cubed minus negative 9x cubed is like saying negative 5x cubed plus 9x cubed. And that's 4x cubed. And then 0x squared minus 15x squared is minus 15x squared, and then plus 4x. So now I go, okay, what times x squared is 4x cubed? And the answer to that is 4x. And when I multiply, I get 4x times x squared, 4x cubed. And then 4x times negative 3, minus 12x. And then 4x times 5 is plus 20x. And so what I'm going to do is subtract that whole thing. Let's make these guys all blue. Oh. Let's make all those guys blue. Alright. So... Then we're going to subtract this whole thing. And when I do that, I want to have 4x cubed minus 4x cubed. That's 0. That's exactly what we need to get. And then I've got 15, uh, negative 15x minus negative, minus negative 12x, which is going to be negative 15x plus 12x, which is negative 3x. And then I've got 4x minus 20x, which is minus 16x. 
And then what times x squared? Oop, these all need to be squareds here. What times x squared is negative 3x squared? And the answer to that is negative 3. So negative 3 times 3x squared is negative 3x squared. And negative 3 times negative 3 is positive 9x. And then negative 3 times 5 is negative 15. Well, what did we forget to do? We forgot to bring down our negative 6. And so now we're ready to, to work this guy out. And we're going to subtract the whole thing. So this is going to be negative 3x squared plus 3x squared. There's a 0. And negative 16x minus 9x. That's minus 25x. And the negative 6 plus 15 is plus 9. So what have I got? Well, <coughs> my answer then is going to be whatever my remainder is, which is this guy, over the green number, which is what I was dividing. So plus negative 25x plus 9 over x squared minus 3x plus 5. So there's long division. Pay attention or you'll wind up with a mistake. Okay, so if we're going to do some more long division, learning from our first problem that we did, we're looking now at x minus 2. So we're going to take this little x minus 2. He's going to go in front. And then underneath is going to go my other function. And remember, from our first example, we need to list off all the powers of x or it won't work right. So I've got x cubed plus 5x squared plus x plus 2. And and now just ask yourself, you know, we're going to look at the first two terms. What times x is x cubed? Well, x squared. So I have x cubed minus 2x squared. And I'm going to subtract the whole thing. And when I do that, I get x cubed minus x cubed. That's 0. That's just what I need. And then I get 5x squared plus 2x squared. So that's going to be 7x squared. And then bring down x. Okay? Now, what times x is 7x squared? 7x. So 7x times x is 7x squared. 7x times negative 2, negative 14x. and subtract the whole thing. Use parentheses so you don't make a mistake. So 7x squared minus 7x squared, that's 0. That's what we want. And then x plus 14x is 15x. And then bring down the 2. Now, what times x is 15x? And uh, that would be 15. So 15 times x is 15x minus 30, because 15 times negative 2. And again, we want to subtract the whole thing. Subtract the whole thing. And so that's going to give us a 0 and then a 32. So what's my answer on this guy? It would be x squared plus 7x plus 15 plus 32 over x minus 2. That's your whole solution. So just remember your long division algorithm. It's long division, okay? And you're, you're going to take what you get on the top. You're going to take what you get on the top, and you're going to multiply it with this guy over here on the side. And that, that's all there is to it. Um, and if you need to write that down off on the side, do it. Just make sure that your multiplication is solid. Okay, so synthetic division is really, 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 really close to synthetic substitution, which we did earlier this year. So to do this, what we're going to do is we're going to take this x plus 3, and we're going to set it equal to 0. And we're going to find out what x equals. We want to know 
what x equals. And once we find out what x equals, we're going to put him in his little house over here. And then we're going to set up a problem just like our synthetic substitution. We need all the coefficients from all the degrees of x. So I have a 2x cubed, a 1x squared, a negative 8x, and a 5. And just like with synthetic substitution, it's really easy. You're going to bring down that first term. You're going to multiply these two guys together. Multiply these two guys. and then add the n resulting number. So this is going to be negative 6, okay? And negative 6 plus 1 is negative 5. Negative 3 times negative 5 is 15. Negative 8 plus 15 is 7. And 7 times negative 3 is negative 21. So this is what I've got. Now, remember when, <coughs> when we've divided on previous problems, We've always lost one degree when we do the division. So if I'm going to divide, which is what this guy wants me to do, this guy wants me to divide. So if I'm going to divide, then what I end up with for my answer is going to be one degree less than where I currently am sitting. So I'm sitting right now on 2x cubed. So one degree less would be 2x squared minus 5x plus 7. And then this guy right here, this number at the end, is my remainder. Every single time is my remainder. And if your remainder is 0, the x plus 3 is a factor. In this case, it isn't. So I would just say plus negative 16 over x plus 3. And that's all there is to synthetic division. It's, it's not a bad deal. It's, uh, it's easy, straightforward, just like synthetic substitution. OK, so now we want to factor this guy completely down, all the way down, completely factored. and. Uh, we know right off the bat, like they're telling us, hey, x plus 2 is a factor, x plus 2 is a factor. So I'm going to take my x plus 2 and I'm going to do synthetic division. So I just need to know what x equals. And once I know what x equals, I put him over here in his little house. And then I write down the leading coefficients from my function that I'm interested in and make sure that I get every single power of x. So I've got 3x cubed negative 4x squared minus 28x minus 16. And if I'm missing any of my powers, I add a 0 in that place. And then I do my synthetic division. So I'm going to bring down my first number. My very first number is 3. So negative 2 times 3 is negative 6. And negative 4 plus negative 6 is negative 10. Negative 2 times negative 10 is positive 20. So negative 28 plus 20 is negative 8. Negative 2 times negative 8 is positive 16. And then negative 16 minus 16 is 0. So remember, this guy right here is your remainder. And if we get a remainder of 0, then x plus 2 is a factor. So if they tell you something is a factor, and you do your synthetic division and it doesn't work out to 0, Double check your math, okay? All right, so now that we got that part done, what have we got left? Well, remember, you lose a degree. So I'm not x to the third anymore. I'm x squared minus 10x minus 8. So one of my factors is x plus 2. I'm just going to write that right here, and they tell us that. And then what I'm going to do is just try and figure out a way to factor this guy. So... Um, there's a lot of different ways that you can factor things. I know this has to be 3x and x because those are the only ways that I get to 3x squared. And then I gotta, I've got to get to minus 10 on the inside. So uh, I need to know, you know, what are the things that multiply and make 8? Well, 4 and 2 do. And when I do this, I get 3 times 4 is 12. And then the 2x, you know, 12 minus 2, that's 10. Well, I need a negative 12 and a positive 2. And so then that gives me the rest of my factors, which make it 3x plus 2 and x minus 4. Now, if you don't remember or you struggle with factoring a uh, quadratic where the leading coefficient is not 1, you could always make this box. And when you make the box, 
what you'll do is you'll put your first term in here and your last term down here and multiply them together. So you'll have 3x squared times negative 8 and that's going to be negative 24x squared. And then list off the things that multiply to 24 but add to negative 10. So this would be, you know, like 8 and 3, but 8 minus 3 is 5. But what about uh, 6 and 10? Well, that won't work either. Or 6 and 4. Uh, but what about 12 and 2? And that does. So when you put 12x in and 2x in, we need to add to get negative 10, so that would make a 12 negative. And then factor on the top. Factor out the greatest common factor, 3x. Factor out the greatest common factor, 2. Factor out the greatest common factor, x. And then factor out the greatest common factor, uh, negative 4. And, and here you can see what you're going to factor to uh, when you do this problem. So there's a completely factored polynomial right here and we used synthetic division and factoring to get it.